recently published a report uh, which it says provides a post-mortem of the cancer that it says killed the Zimbabwean dream of freedom and independence. So that 64-page report details the scale of the theft, amongst others illicit cross-border financial transactions and billions in gold and diamonds smuggled out of that country. Uh, Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Mnangagwe, is identified by the report as one of the cartel bosses who are open quote, patronage and protection, close quote, it says keeps cartels operating. So the author of that report is uh, the Maverick Citizens, uh, Mark Hayward. He joins me now live and also joining me as well is uh, Super Collins Mandiwanzira, the former Zimbabwe ICT minister who was implicated and in that report. To you both gentlemen, very good evening to you and thanks for joining us on the program. Mr. Hayward, let me start with you as the author okay. of that report. These are quite damning allegations which point to alleged corruption which you say goes right to the top. Thank you, Chriselda. Let me just correct one small but important thing. Yeah. I'm not the author of the report. Mm. Uh, Maverick Citizen is the publisher right. of this report. It yeah. was written and researched in Zimbabwe itself. Mm. It was published by Maverick Citizen because at this moment in time in Zimbabwe, there are attacks on journalists, attacks on members of civil society. People are being wrongfully imprisoned. People are being abducted. People are being tortured. And therefore, it was felt best that it be published by Maverick Citizen. So let me say that I published this right. report in the public South African interest, because obviously our futures are very much tied up with Zimbabwe and in the interests of people in Zimbabwe as well. And as you said in the introduction, this report is really a research study about the relationships between senior people in government, senior people in businesses in Zimbabwe, senior people in state-owned enterprises, and how they collude to participate in illicit financial uh, uh, tax transfers, in taking money out of the country, in rigging prices, and all of this to the detriment of the ordinary Zimbabwean, who at this moment in time faces hunger, faces a COVID-19 crisis, faces water shortages, and faces a government that is listed by Transparency International, which is a reputable international NGO that studies corruption, yeah. as the 157th out of 180 of the most corrupt countries in the world. So, so I think there's, a, there's an important public interest. The, the last thing I would just say by way of introduction is that this is a very carefully written and researched report. It has 462 references to support claims that it makes as it tries to join the right. dots of state capture in that country. And it was independently fact-checked right. uh, by somebody independent of the author as well as of Maverick Citizen. All right. Um I want to talk a bit about that. Within this report that has been published, uh, sitting uh, with us in this interview today is a former minister, Mr. Supermandi Wanzira, and allegations have been made against him. Yes, it was published uh, by the Citizen Maverick, uh, who has over the past few days said on social media that uh, he has been mentioned as the owner of a company uh, involved in alleged dodgy dealings, but he doesn't even own that company. Well, I think Mr. Mandi Wanzira will speak for himself in a minute, and, and I look forward to, to that, and I'm very glad that he... But perhaps I should start with you, Mr. Hayward. It was published by the Citizen Maverick. You published it. Okay. Yeah. So, so let me, uh, let me Chriselle, to say exactly what the, what the report says. So there's a, there's a case study in the report on collusion in relation to roads, specifically with regards to the Zimbabwe National Road Authority. And, it, and again, it's a detailed case study of what is going on in that sector. Now, it mentions Mr. Uh, uh, Mandi Wanzira, not as the owner. He has said repeatedly on social media in the last few days that we claim that he is the owner of this company, Univer. And it says no such thing. It says, and I will read it to you, it has been alleged that former minister Super Mandi Wanzira is a shareholder of Univern. Super Mandi Wanzira also appears to own a company named Tarcon, 
who's board chairsperson and so on, and, and it goes on. These are n- not new allegations, incidentally. Mm. Uh, um, they were first published uh, in 2014 by Transparency right. International in another report, which has not been contested by the honourable former minister. Um, Mr. Hayward, I really want to give Mr. Mandwanzira M- 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 just equal time to respond. He seems very sure. aggrieved. Good evening to you, Mr. Mandwanzira. Uh, M- M- You're very aggrieved by mere implication Uh, in this particular um, um, uh, report that was released. I saw your your, your discontent, uh, which it put on social media. Your response uh, to to the allegations that have been made? Well, I think, first of all, it's very important to say that uh, uh, corruption is a cancer uh, in Zimbabwe, and everybody is uh, very interested in finding uh, who is at fault. And any report that uh, um, purpose to expose those that are involved, particularly cartels, would be of interest to um, every Zimbabwean who is against corruption, including myself. Mm -hmm. But what I have a problem with, with regards to this report, is the mention of my name as being linked to a company uh, called Univan. It's a repeat of a discredited allegation. And I do believe that uh, uh, Mark Haywood is the editor of this uh, 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 report, uh, together with the publishers, should have taken more care in establishing the veracity of the allegations that they carry. If anybody claims to be doing an investigation that is independently verified, independently checked for facts, surely they should be able to give an opportunity to those who are mentioned to give their side of the story. Unfortunately, no such opportunity was given to me. And uh, my biggest concern is that uh, the information over who owns this company is publicly available here in Zimbabwe. Mm. The owners of the company are um, uh, three Zimbabweans who have been paraded on Zimbabwean television when they've been doing presentations to the Zimbabwe government as not only directors of that company, but also as owners. One of them is actually best in Johannesburg, South Africa, yeah. uh, is Lawrence Scheer, and the other one is um, Serge Levy and Msekiwa Kumbula. I'm not involved with this company. I've never been involved with this company. A repeat of a discredited allegation in a report that is uh, supposedly exposing corruption uh, takes away the uh, 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 integrity of that report. So, Mr. Mandjwanzira, you, did you not receive... Um, anything as as someone whose name is mentioned in this report, did you not receive any uh, a, a communication to respond to that prior to this? Absolutely, going? Absolutely not. Never. There was no um, uh, uh, contact, uh, but my contact details are available everywhere. Nobody contacted me. In fact, what is even more embarrassing is that uh, if you go on Google to check who are the, are the owners of this company or the directors of the co- of the company. Their names do appear. The names I've just mentioned do appear on Google. Uh, did the report or the, or the authors of that report, did they phone the directors in order to check who their owners are? No, they didn't. In fact, uh, Lawrence Sher, Serge Levy and Zakir Kumbula have never refused ownership of their company. All so right. it is quite wanna... uh, surprising that uh, Mark Haywood would defend such a lie and fabrication to say that I am the owner. Uh, he mentioned uh, that Haywood... Transparency International has said the same the truth of the matter is that a lie is a lie. It doesn't matter how many people repeat it. Uh, Mr. Haywood, was this independently verified? Um, uh, you are, of course, those who published uh, this. Was it independently verified or at least um, uh, information sought on whether those who are implicated in the report have been given a, a chance to respond to the allegations that have been made? This report, as I said was very carefully independently verified. And let me also say, in response to what has just been said, that it is actually not quite as simple as has just been said to find out who the owners or who the beneficial shareholders of this company are. I have attempted to do that myself this very day and have not been successful. Uh, um, From what I can see, Univern, Uh, goes under a trading name of the Southern Regional Trading Company. Its website does not list its directors. Its website does not list its shareholders. All right. And I should also point out, Criselda, let me just say this, that in terms of Zimbabwean law, there is a new law that requires the disclosure of directors, but will only 
be brought into implementation in two years' time when it comes to shareholders. So if Mr. Mandy Wanzira right. is saying tonight on SABC that he is not a sh- stakeholder, then I will... A, a beneficial shareholder or owner. Mr. Hayward, we're fast running out of time. I really do apologise. Yeah. I have to give uh, Mr. Madhu, M- 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 um uh, some say there. Will you be taking action very quickly, Mr. Madhu Wanzira, against uh, the Citizen Maverick? Maverick Citizen. I have been on social media denying I've engaged uh, the Citizen Maverick. They have not had the courtesy to withdraw their allegation. We are definitely taking legal action, and this week they will be receiving uh, papers from our lawyers in Johannesburg. Thank you very much uh, to you both, gentlemen. I was really hoping we'd have more time uh, on this discussion. We have uh, another live show coming up. Uh, the Maverick Citizens, Mark Haywood, and former Zimbabwe ICT Minister Super Mandy Wanzira on that report, of course, uh, published in the Maverick uh, Citizen. And uh, uh, Mr. Super Mandy Wanzira responding to some of the allegations uh, that have been made uh, in him being implicated in that report. I'm afraid that's.